let's take up a question on redemption of debentures now i have put the question here z limited issued 2010% debentures of rupees 100 each on 1st january 2011 redeemable at par on 31st march 2012 The company received applications for two thousand debentures, and the allotment was made to all the applicants. The debentures were redeemed on due date. Give the necessary journal entries for issue and redemption of debentures. Assume that the interest was payable on debentures on thirty first December every year. Now we'll do this. Z Limited issued two thousand ten percent debentures of hundred rupees each, right? So first of all, the journal entries for issued. The first one that will be on first January two thousand eleven, the date of issue, right? We'll write bank account debit. to debenture application account the amount will be 200 2000 debentures of 100 rupees each so 2000 into 100 2000 into 100 is 2 lakhs okay this is application money received on debentures right then after that on the same date the allotment is made right here we'll write debenture application account debit to 10% debentures account again with 2 lakh rupees now the question says that the debentures are redeemed on 31st march 2012 the accounting year is january to december right assume that the interest was payable on debentures on 31st december every year so now we have to make the payment of interest right so on 31st december 2011 first of all the interest will become due so when the interest on debenture becomes due the entry is interest on debenture account debit to debenture holder account to debenture holder account now the this is basically interest becoming due right and the amount of interest will be 2 lakh into 10% this is 10% debentures right so 2 lakh into 10% is 20000 rupees so this is the amount that is paid that is becoming due the interest that is becoming due right after that on 31st december 2011 again this interest is paid to the debenture holder so we'll write debenture holder account debit to bank account that's again 20000 rupees this is being the payment of interest made right after that
the interest is transferred to the profit and loss account. So here we write statement of profit and loss account debit to interest on debenture account. This is again this 20,000 is transferred to the profit and loss account, right? So being transfer of interest, right? Okay, after this, this year 2011 has ended. Now we come to the next year. Now we see here that the debentures were redeemed on due date and the debentures have to be redeemed on 31st March 2012, right? So here we come to this 31st March 2012. Right now, before the redemptions, uh, before the debentures are redeemed, the interest has to be paid till the date of redemption. So we have already paid the interest up to th December for the year 2011. Now for the year 2012, January, February, March, for these three months, the interest has to be paid to the debenture holders. So first of all. The interest becoming due, right? Interest on debenture account debit to debenture holder account. This is the amount will be only for three months. So this is two lakh into ten percent into three divided by twelve. Two lakh into 10 by 100 into 3 by 12 if you do this it will come to 5000 rupees right this is the interest becoming due for 3 months ok now 31st March 2012. Now we can write this 10% debenture account debit to debenture holder account. Debenture holder account. This will be 2 lakh rupees. Right? This is basically being the payment on redemption becoming due, right? Now after this, the payment has to be made. Now we have to pay this 2 lakh and also this interest that is 5000 rupees. If you want, you can write it separately or it can be combined. We can write debenture holder account debit to bank account 2 lakh plus 5000 that is 2 lakh 5000 rupees right being the payment of being the payment made to debenture holder including the interest right finally on 31st March 2012, this interest, this is transferred to the statement of profit and loss account. So we write statement of profit and loss account debit to interest on debentures account. This 5000 rupees is transferred, right? So these are the journal entries for this question. Here, one thing that you have to see is we have not created the debenture redemption reserve. Why we have not created the debenture redemption reserve is because the issue is being done on 1st, June, uh, 1st January 2011, right? And the redemption is on 31st March 2012. We have a rule exception 
for debenture redemption reserve that if the redemption is done before 18 months within 18 months in that case the company need not create a debenture redemption reserve account so we see here that the redemption is done in 15 months right so we are not creating a drr in this case same way if you have an infrastructure company in that case also debenture redemption reserve is not to be created right so these are the journal entries here that we have made for this now i'll take up an example in which we'll be creating a debenture redemption reserve right okay let's see this we are limited has 5,000 12% debentures of rupees 100 each which are to be redeemed on 31st March 2012 DRR has a balance of let's say 150000 rupees on that date record the necessary journal entries right at the time of redemption now we are supposed to do only the journal entries at the time of redemption of debentures issue is not needed right so the redemption is to be done on 31st March 2012. Now see, what is the issue? Uh, I mean like they have issued 5,000 12% debentures of 100 each. So the value of debentures is 5,000 into 100 which is 5 lakhs. 50% of 5 lakh which is needed to be transferred to the DRR is 50% of 5 lakh is 2 lakh 50 thousand. Okay. But in the question they have given that DRR already has a balance of 1 lakh 50 thousand. So that means in order to bring it to 2 lakh 50 thousand you have to add 1 lakh to that. Right. So we have to transfer only 1 lakh from the statement of profit and loss account so here i'll write statement of profit and loss account debit to drr account i'll put only 1 lakh here not 2 lakh 50 thousand because 1 lakh 50 thousand is already lying there in the drr if that statement had not been given in that case you will transfer the whole 2 lakh 50 thousand into the drr right being the transfer of profit to DRR as per the SEBI guidelines. Even if you don't write this, it's fine. The narration has to be written. The SEBI guidelines, it's, if you want, you can write. Otherwise, you can omit that, right? Okay, now 31st March 2012. Now, this is 12% debenture account debit to debenture holder account. To debenture holder account the amount to be paid is uh, 5 lakhs right this is the amount due for redemption redemption okay now after that 31st March 2012 you write debenture holder account debit to bank account This is again the whole amount is paid, so 5 lakh, right? So redeem that par, fine. And one more entry, the last entry here, 31st uh, March 2012. 
the drr is now transferred to the general reserve right okay mm -hmm. so we write debenture redemption reserve account debit to general reserve now here the whole 250000 will be transferred 150000 which was already lying there in the drr plus 1 lakh which we have transferred now right the whole is transferred to the general reserve here the calculation for drr is like this 50% 50% of the issue uh, of the value of debentures is coming to 250000 right balance in drr is given as 150000 so 250000 minus 150000 is the amount that will be transferred this is 1 lakh it's like this right so we have seen two questions in this session one in which we have all the entries along with the payment of interest to the debenture holders and uh, redemption of debentures and this is within 18 months right and in this case uh, one minute i'll try to be okay now in the second case the date of issue is not given so we are assuming that these debentures are being redeemed only after 18 months and this is not a infrastructure company right so we have to create a drr in this case and here we have done that creation of the drr and finally the drr is transferred to the general reserve right so with that i come to the end of this session on the uh, redemption of debentures